Now I'm going to show you a basic entry into deep half guard. Uh, I saw this position a lot back when I was a purple belt. I had a friend in Brazil that played this, and I kind of discarded it. I, didn't, I wasn't a big fan of deep half guard. Over the years, I started playing it a little bit more, and uh, now I found that it has a very specific part in my game. Okay? I am a, a long lever, I'm a big guy, and the way that I enter into it and the way that I play it is going to be different than some of the uh, competitive smaller players out there. Uh, for instance, the way that I enter in, I don't really worry a whole lot about that Kimura grip on the bottom. Okay? You're going to see a lot of people hide that hand, and I'm not going to play that way. I'm going to show a series of sweeps uh, and transitions off of deep half guard, uh, and mine are going to come from a different mindset. I, I recommend that you try it out and see what kind of success you have with it, and then you know email me. Okay? Um, specifically, the reason that this fits into my game, if you know anything about my half guard game, I'm a big half guard player, Gordo, big half guard guy. I'm all underhooks all the time. All right? A lot of the things where you would play overhooks, my knees don't cooperate with me, uh, so I can't play like half butterfly or play that butterfly hook. So if I don't have the underhook, a lot of times I get stuck, I get crushed. For me, deep half guard is an excellent place to go when I missed the underhook, okay? And so that's when you're gonna see me repeatedly go into deep half is when I got beat to the underhook. It doesn't happen a lot, but when it does happen, you have to have an option. So I'm gonna start from this combat base position. What you're gonna find is that a lot of times when you go into this, it's either because the person is in combat base or they're standing. You can do this same entry when they're in a squatted position, uh, and, and once you get good at it, this can be really good transition. I will show those transitions in from standing opponents in later videos, but for right now, this is a really safe place to practice your transition, okay? For me, in half guard, I always want this knee to be on the floor. I don't ever lose the underhook, put this down. I don't ever lose the underhook when I'm in here. But when they can start playing with this space above where their body can extend, stand back up. Now I'm in trouble, okay? A lot of times they'll be able to get past with this knee and then come back in for the underhook over, over here, right? Oh, that's a bummer. I don't want that to happen. Okay, move back just a little bit. So, the dynamics here, okay, is I'm gonna straighten my leg. When I straighten my leg, I have a long lever. You, have, you can build a lot more momentum with a long lever than you can with, with, a, with a short one. We don't want it bent. I don't want you to kick this leg out. I want it to be totally straight. The turning of that leg all the way out, my hip turning over is what's going to scoop this, okay? So I did say that he started to beat me to the underhook freeze. This is where I know I'm not going to re-pummel here when he's tight with that elbow. That opportunity is gone. This is deep half guard right here, okay? So my spare hand is going to go knuckles out on the thigh. We'll see it in a couple different angles. And then I'm going to kick my leg straight. When I kick my leg straight, I'm going to allow my leg to carry all the way around. Doesn't bend, guys. Straight. All the way around until I can get this knee all the way on top. Now you can see that I'm squeezing here and my elbow comes in. My top hand comes pinky on the top of that kneecap. My fingers go out on the top of that quad and then I'm going to roll that leg out. Now, I can't get lazy with my neck. I ultimately don't want them to step over my head. It's not necessarily a really terrible thing if it happens, but we don't really want to deal with that. So from here, I'm going to squeeze, okay, my legs. I'm going to stretch my feet away, and I'm going to extend my neck. You see how my head is up here on the thigh. Now when I want to start moving his body, it becomes nice and easy. I know there are a lot of people that really emphasize hiding this, okay. I know a lot of people that emphasize in getting one of these hooks or getting this hook right here, and those things are good. That's just not the way that I play deep half guard, okay. I squeeze with my thighs. Granted, I have very strong thighs. I control at the top of the calf, or excuse me, at the top of the uh, kneecap, and my other hand comes here, and you can see that I tuck my elbow in. If you get lazy with this elbow, sometimes that can be problems, but there's no way this arm is going to get cored while your elbow's on the floor. Do you feel like you can come over here? Yeah. Now, where people screw up is they come right here. This is where that Kimura comes in. Now, I'm not saying I never hide this hand. But when I enter in initially, I'm squeezing, stretching away, my neck is straight, and my hand is down here. I'll either stack my hands, one on top, or just below the knee. This hand is super important, okay? And all my sweeps are pretty much going to start like this. Sometimes I just fall right over. All right. So I was in here. He started to move forward. Boom. This is where I know I'm getting beat. Maybe I could re-pummel, but maybe his body's turned too much. Knuckles on the back of the thigh, right? Look, oh man, I'm even holding onto the tricep on the outside. I'm gonna straighten that leg. I'm gonna turn my legs all the way over. 
stretch that leg away, nice and tight, here. So I'm in here, he started to beat me, my four fingers came in, I'm straightening that leg all the way around. Now watch, I squeeze, I stretch, and my hand comes here. Now there's, you know, all of our sweeps are gonna come from this area. This is the angle. This is where you get to see what my leg does. Super important, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Even without the entry, I'm just gonna show you. Look at how it straightens, hooking all the way in. With that momentum, it's gonna be almost impossible to lose this leg. Again, I straighten how it's caught on the back of my leg here. Here. It may look like they just can lift their leg up. It's gonna be tough, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm here, he started beating me in, right? I'm grabbing that tricep, boom. Straightening, turning, control. All right, hand to the inside, here. I am stretching my legs away, right? Coming in, four fingers, right? My knuckles turn just a little bit. Just like this, right? Straight, I'm hooking on the tricep with my outside hand. I'm gonna turn, watch how I use that arm to pull myself under, hand all the way up here to the knee. I know, turn. Good. I know a lot of people will teach to control on this belt around the outside. I don't do that, okay? I control here. If somebody starts getting to be a problem, I'll dig my heels into the floor and I'm gonna scoop my hips out and squeeze my thighs together. I am not lifting. This is good, this is somebody else's game. This isn't my game. Okay, I'm here, come back up. So he's here, right? I need to make sure that this stays straight. If you need to gable grip, that's okay, and move your pelvis out towards the heel. Back up. That's just my entry, okay? But it's important that we understand how I'm entering in, and then we're gonna look at a bunch of different options off of that, okay?